Hey guys, how you doing? I'm doing well. How are you? Good. Uh, in earlier episodes, you've said that uh, you listed, I think, a personal experience as one acceptable reason, in your opinion, for believing in a God. Am I right? Um, kind of. Um, okay. and, I, and actually, I said something almost, almost identical a few minutes ago. Then that, that is that if somebody has had a personal experience, um, that it may be true that their belief is then justified. Okay. Um, I don't really buy the personal experience argument, and here's why. Uh, well, first of all, I can't draw a conclusion from someone else's personal experience about the existence of God or not, because that's going to happen between right. the person and the God or the voice in their head. Right. Um, however, I can look at all the reported personal experiences and draw conclusions from that. I see that people have, you know, personal experiences about God, about Yahweh, about Allah, about, you know, uh, all, all different gods. Um, and so what you have to look at is, okay, so if one of these uh, religions is true and one of these gods is real, what's with all these other people? They could all be lying or they could all be schizophrenic or they could just be mistaken about uh, their conclusions from a certain experience. That so far had. we're in complete agreement. Oh, crap. Yeah. <laughs> I, I agree, and I've said this from my point of view, seeing this, di this, this, this diverse range of claims of personal experience, to me, is evidence that the, that the best possible explanation is that they are all wrong. Uh, yeah, but to the individual, that's what I mean when I say they may be justified. For example, if I'm sitting at home this evening after the show and after dinner, and there happens to be a God who exists, and he reveals himself to me and demonstrates that it's true. And I don't know specifically what that would entail in order to convince me that it was not a delusion or anything else. But if there was a God, certainly they'd be able to accomplish that much. Otherwise, there's not a lot of point in giving them the, the title. But if they convinced me and then that was it, then the only thing I could ever do is say, this will never be justification for you but I've had an experience that serves as justification for me. The difference is between that and if it happened to me versus all the other people who, who think that it's happened to them is that I'd never come on TV and tell somebody else that I think they should believe based on my experience. A revelation is necessarily first person, go read David Hume, and everything else is second hand and hearsay, and it can't possibly be justification. But I'm just saying I don't think they're actually justified. I can't make an argument either way, but they may believe they're justified, and I'm open to the possibility that it did happen, that, yeah. that, they, that well, they would well, be justified. I think the short version is that we can't argue with someone else's personal experience, right? I, well, I, do, can, think, I do think that you're, you're, uh, you're right, though. The caller's right, though, in the sense of the aggregate, right? Is, is, uh, ha, ha, you know, all these people who have had these revelations haven't really advanced the world very much. It's like, you know, okay, well... So yeah, what? <laughs> and, and, and if you're one of those people, if you're one of those people out there who have had some kind, if you think God talks to you or you've had some kind of dramatic revelation Seen that Jesus has convinced you, that, I don't think that one quite qualifies, but <laughs> okay. there are plenty of people out there that would, um, then ask yourself this, why the hell are you so special? What about all the other people throughout history who have been desperately trying to find an answer to all of this, uh, desperately seeking out a God, people who wanted nothing more than to be ministers or, or to fulfill those obligations, people who have studied the cosmos and peeked under every rock, people who have hit their knees and prayed for hours on end and asked God to reveal himself to you, to them, and they get squat, and yet you get this special treatment. What the hell is so special about you? Right? And the people who think that God grabbed the steering wheel to save them from getting, you know, being in an accident. What makes you so special? And why would you worship a God who seems so mm, capricious about who he's going to reveal himself to? I thought he, this, I mean, doesn't he love everybody? Aren't we all entitled he's to these mysterious. kind of experiences? He's mysterious. That's the answer. He's yeah. mysterious. That's the rationalization. Yeah. It's, uh, it's a big old mystery. And if you're comfortable with that, there's something wrong with you. Because the world is round, it turns me.